guardian angel of Persia. Mut, the angel of repentance, the ruler of the element of fire. The archangel of the covenant, the chief ruling prince of the fourth heaven, he who overthrows mountains. His mystery name is Sabathiel, the angel of the east and of the east wind. It is he who leads souls into eternal light. The golden legend calls him the angel of the planet Mercury. Barrett's Magus calls him the lord of Sundays, and the ancient Persians call him Bashtar, the sustainer. He is the conqueror of the prince of Persia, for it was he who defeated Dobiel, the guardian angel of Persia. Michael originated from the pantheon of the Chaldeans, who, at that time, worshipped him as a god. He was then passed into both Jewish and Arabian law, where he became one of the most important angels thenceforth. He is an angel of multiple ranks and duties, the chief of the archangels and of the virtues. He is one of the four seraphim who are the throne of the most high and ceasing the praise of his In early Muslim law, it is said, that the cherubim were formed from the tears Michael shed over the sin of They say his wings were the color of green emerald, and had a million faces and mouths, and as many tongues. In the legends of the Jews, he is said to be the angel of insomnia, for it was he who was sent by God to cause the sleeplessness of King Ahasuerus, who, on the advice of the wicked Haman, had decreed the annihilation of all the Jews in the kingdom. In the story of the Egyptians and the Israelites, when the fierce of Azithabod, guardian of angel of the Egyptians, led the Egyptian army and their pharaoh the to pursue the Israelites, with objects made it was Michael, and ice. the guardian angel of but Israel, one... who led the children of Israel safely across the Red Sea. The two guardians came face to face, and a great battle ensued between them on that very spot at the Red Sea, unseen by the eyes of mortals. It was a battle which would determine the fate of the two tribes. Michael eventually bested Abersidabod, throwing him and the Egyptian hosts into the Red Sea, trapping Abersidabod under a magical pillar in the deepest part of the sea. And All of the heavens and the earth knew Michael as the mightiest of all the angels, for his battle prowess was unrivaled and unparalleled until Metatron proved a match, surpassing the great Michael himself. But how? How great was Metatron? What feat proved his might and skills were greater than that of Michael? It was a crisis that had to do with the two great mages and sorcerers of ancient Egypt, Ions and Iambas, some call them Janus and Jombas, the same mages who...